Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly grind. All right, let's take a look. Message for you for this week. They'll be back. All right, you'll be dealing with somebody from the past. If you don't want anybody from the past, then don't take it. All right. It's a fire sign. No, it's not the right time. Air sign. Trust your intuition. The red flags you ignore now will be will come, nah, will come to bite later. Ooh, water sign. Date night. Challenges. Earth sign. Intimacy. Guardian. divorce all right there is a fire sign that will be coming back but i don't really feel like this is the right time for this could be that they haven't really learned their lesson with the air sign and water sign you need to use your intuition you are going to be going out with this person but i don't really feel like it's something that will be long lasting because there will be a lot of challenges meaning that you're not supposed to be with this person and earth sign you're going to be intimate with this one but your ancestors and your and your uh, spirit guides won't be allowing you to be with this earth sign <laughs> i guess aries right now you have to be you have to be alone all right because in the end he will only ended up breaking up or having a divorce <laughs> well i feel like you know the the universe is not yet done cooking you you still need to boil more all right <laughs> so i don't know like earth sign water sign fire sign air sign or whatever sign it is it seems like you are not yet supposed to be with anyone you need to have some more healing. Some of you, your timing should be around fall. And that's the time that you are really, really, really ready. You're going to have a talk with somebody from the past. All right. But it's only a talk. Um, there will be a lot of dramas, exchange of arguments and words and stuff with this person. But I don't really feel like the two of you are really ready to be together. Some of you might also get caught in a third party situation. That's why. And while you're waiting for this person, you should not go out with anyone. Because the more you see, the thing here is if you already know who the person is and you only need to wait for a few months, and then you feel like, oh, what if, you know, that person is not going to come back to me? What if it's just going to be another missed chance or missed opportunity? What if it's something that I will just deem it as a waste of investment or, or time? Then I should just date out someone else. Now, the more you date out someone else or some other people, the more you're going to be banking karma. First off, you know that being in their life is only temporary. And you don't have any other intention of taking them seriously. What if they fall in love with you? What if that person also got out of a very, get out of a very traumatic situation and you know when they finally met you, you don't have any plans of taking them seriously but to toss them around as well. So don't do that. All right, don't do that. All right, now, you need to cut off any unwanted connection or any 
unwanted um well yeah unwanted connection and unwanted um people all right you need to block them out for now you need to get some more healing you need to heal more you need to wait for the right time you gotta listen to your guides and to your ancestors otherwise you will just keep on getting hurt or people are just gonna hurt you even more because you're not supposed to be with anyone you're not even ready so So the thing here is, you need to, it's like you need to barricade yourself first for any other disturbances or any other connections. You're only disappointed with what happened here with this person from the past. Uh, this person that is probably someone who is financially established or secured. And you thought that you're going to get there to the next level. But unfortunately, it just, you know, pop out and it's just all an illusion. This is something that you are avoiding for you to be disappointed again because... You're starting to have a disbelief when it comes to love. Now, when it comes to your finances, be careful of any information or any other sort of communication that you are going to be disclosing, whether it's email, text, phone calls, or whatsoever, okay? Especially if there is a plan or presentation that you're preparing for, do not show this to anyone. Do not discuss your... Um, ideas to anyone because what's going to happen is that someone is just waiting for you to be vulnerable and for you to be less guarded and they want to copy whatever it is that you are preparing for the presentation because this presentation or I don't know whatever this is that you want to pitch in it will take you to the whole new level of your career so probably that there is a promotion or like an increment or could be both as a reward be careful because someone is keenly watching you. All right, they are just waiting for you to be, to, you know, they're just waiting for you to be less guarded and for you to trust them. All right. So let's take it to the extended what's going to happen to this connection. All right. And. When will you be reuniting with this person? I feel like this is your soulmate. They're going to be coming in, but I don't really feel like the final reconciliation will be this month. It will be sometime around the end of the year. But let's take a look what's going to be happening during the process of your uh, renewal and another separation. All right. Anyway, links down there below to my Patreon. And if you want to talk to me at 11 phone, love the calls, just go and visit me at my website, sfeclairpoint.com. Blessings to you.